really excited at the moment because something's happening which brings together my two favourite obsessions, films and music. You probably know that alongside being a film critic, I play in a skiffle band, the Dodge Brothers. And last year, we did this thing at the Barbican when we played an accompaniment to a silent western, White Oak. And it was a real sort of learning experience. We played with Neil Brand, who's a brilliant pianist. He went on tour with Paul Merton, and he's probably the country's leading silent film accompanist. And Neil takes real pride in being able to play along to a film. The first time he sees it, he can just, you know, play along to the images. Now, obviously, playing with other musicians, you kind of pretty much have to rehearse some stuff before because, you know, you can't all change keys without each other knowing where you're going. But it was a real learning curve. And as a result of that, we're now doing another one. So yesterday, for the first time, we had a bash at playing along to this Louise Brooks movie, Beggars of Life, from 1928. And it was just a terrific experience. It's really something exciting and invigorating about watching a film and thinking, well, what musical cue would work there? You know, double bass, or does that need maybe an accordion, or a you know, lonesome harmonica, maybe a cowbell? I mean, I know it sounds kind of strange and trite when you say it like that, but when you're playing along, it really feels exciting and interesting. And I think it brings something to cinema. And it reminded me of the fact that a few years ago, I introduced uh, Robert Ziegler and his orchestra, who did a live accompaniment to uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Silent the Lodger at uh, the Latitude Festival. And it was great because it's a big festival full of kind of, you know, people of all ages who stayed there and watched a silent film. And I'm sure that part of the appeal was seeing a live orchestra playing along to those images. It made it like a, like a concert rather than just a, a film running through the projector. And some of you have written on the blog recently about my comments about 3D, but I'm saying 3D is you know, not the future of cinema, I can't stand it and we should get away from it. Everyone say, oh, got a problem with 3D, Mark, well, what next? Have a problem with colour? Why don't we go to, back to good old black and white? Or, or what about sound? Oh, that was a terrible innovation. Let's go back to silent film.